welcome back to my channel. I realize it's been a long time since I sat down and did a full drugstore dedicated makeup tutorial. So obviously that is what I have for you guys today since it is getting a little bit cooler outside even though it's really hot out today. But in general, it's getting cooler because it is fall time now. So I'm excited to bring you guys this tutorial on this look right here. It's gonna be all drugstore. There's only two items from ColourPop, but everything else is things that you can get at Walmart or Target, Walgreens, CVS, all the drugstores. I'm really excited because I love the way that this whole thing turned out and knowing that it's all affordable, I know we're all trying to save money here. So I have some really good recommendations. If you guys are interested, then you can go ahead and stay tuned. And while you guys are watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to grow slowly but surely. So let's go ahead and get started in today's video. We're gonna start off by priming our face using the CoverGirl Illuminating Primer. I love this primer. It honestly really does a good job at just kind of giving you a nice glow underneath your foundation. You can either mix it in with foundation or use it as a primer before. And it smells really good too. If you guys haven't noticed, CoverGirl is a brand that has definitely been stepping up their game the last year. Like I feel like they made a huge comeback by like rebranding themselves and coming out with a bunch of really, really good products. Their foundations have been amazing. Their concealer is really, really good. Um, their primers are awesome. Like there's so many different things that are really, really good from CoverGirl that have come out recently. If you guys haven't checked them out, definitely would recommend. Now we're going to move on to foundation. This is a Catrice HD liquid coverage foundation. I talk about this all the time. I use it in almost every single tutorial. This is in the shade 010 light beige. And I just get this from Ulta. It's honestly so affordable. I think it's only 12 or 13 bucks and if you're into full coverage or if you have oily skin this is really good if you have dry skin i would just recommend using like a glowy primer like i did or a really good moisturizer beforehand and you guys know i love this elf sponge to blend in my foundations and concealers any cream products really are good with this sponge Speaking of brands that have been doing really good this year, e.l.f. is another one. So I'm using their e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. This is a really, really good drugstore concealer. I think it's only five or six dollars and it's really full coverage. And it doesn't crease on me, it lasts all day long. I honestly have just been using either this one or the Too Faced one. But this is definitely obviously a cheaper option. Now to set everything into place, you guys know this is one of my favorite drugstore items and this is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. I use the shade 10 Fair Light and I'm almost running out of this. I don't have a ton of it left, but I use it on a daily basis and I honestly love this powder. I don't know if I'll ever buy another high-end setting powder because this one's probably $10 and all the other ones I use are like $30 which don't get me wrong, like the hourglass one is really good. That one's worth the price, but I, don't use, but I don't use my hourglass one every day because of how expensive it is. So if you're wanting one for like more everyday stuff and then get the hourglass one for like special events only, cause that's honestly what I do. This is definitely the powder to go to. So obviously my face is looking really pale and now we're going to bronze it up. You guys, surprise, surprise, using Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This will just forever and always be my favorite one. I've gone through, I think, three of these in my lifetime, and that says a lot considering it's a powder. And powder products are really hard to go through, but I've gone through these somehow because no matter what, like my Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer, you guys have heard me talk about me preferring this one over any other one that I've ever had, so.
Another product that I really love for the drugstore and goes perfect with this deep brown smoky look that we're gonna do is the Burt's Bees blush. All these blushes are really, really good, but I like the shade Toasted Cinnamon, which is this one right here. As you guys can see, it's not much of a blush color, but it just gives a really nice warmth to, to <laughs> it just gives a really nice warmth to the cheekbone. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that right there on the apples of my cheeks. So unfortunately, the only blushes that I really own from the drugstore are from Wet n Wild, besides the ColourPop ones. I hate calling these drugstores. I know that you can't get them at every single drugstore. You can only get them at Ulta, and they're only at certain Ultas, so that's why I hate to use them when I'm doing like an all drugstore tutorial. But since I don't have anything besides Wet n Wild, I really just have no choice but to use this one right here. So this is a Wet n Wild Super Shock Cheek in the shade Lunch Money. This is like a really nice golden kind of highlight. I've used this one forever now, as you guys can see. It's pretty <laughs> used up. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on my cheeks right here. I just know there's so much contradiction with the wet and wild stuff and so much drama around that and their cruelty free status and all those things so i don't really want to be associated with a brand that like lies about that stuff and i'm not cruelty free like i use products that aren't cruelty free I just know that some of my subscribers are cruelty free and i also just as a person don't appreciate like a brand lying which i don't know if they are i don't know what the truth is but until it's like more obvious, I'm not gonna use it on my channel. But I do have so much Wet n Wild stuff. And it sucks because I bought like seven Wet n Wild palettes probably like the week before all this drama started. So that was like the worst thing about it. So for brows today, I'm using two of my favorite drugstore brow products. These are pretty new to my collection, but they're the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. I don't know if these are new or if they're reformulated or not. Um, but I know they're obviously like repackaged in their new stuff. This is in the shade light pale. That's weird. That's like the blonde one, I guess, 105. And then they also have the CoverGirl. Okay, I guess this is called Easy Breezy Brow 2. And this is the clear shade. So I like to use this obviously to give my brows some color. So I like to just kind of use this to brush it up. This honestly is just like any other brow um kind of like brush on product like the gimme brow that i use from benefit this is basically the same thing so if you're looking for a good drugstore alternative and you don't want to spend like 20 dollars or 25 dollars on the high-end ones from like anastasia and stuff this is a really really good option so then i like to set it into place with the clear one okay now it is time for eyeshadow and you guys know some of my favorite eyeshadow palettes from the drugstore are from Milani. I just feel like you can't beat the quality. And I mean, honestly, the packaging is really, really nice packaging as well. You can get these now, I believe, at Ulta. And then you can get them at Walmart, I know for sure. So I'm gonna use a mixture of the Most Love Mattes one and then the Bold Obsessions one. The first shade I'm gonna take in the Most Love Mattes palette is My Daily Latte, which is this one right here. And I'm just gonna use an Alamar Cosmetics brush and just kind of take that shade all over my crease to start building it up. So this is just a really nice transition shade, but honestly, these mattes work really, really well. But I do feel like that's the one thing that the drugstore really lacks is like good quality eyeshadows. Like I know that a lot more brands are starting to come out with them, but like eyeshadows you can actually trust that aren't gonna get patchy, or they're gonna last all day long. I feel like you definitely can't find many of those. So Milani is always like my trusty ride or die palettes. The next shade I'm gonna use is Toast of the Town, which is this one right underneath the shade we just used. And I'm just gonna take that on the same Alamar Cosmetics brush that I have and work that into my crease and right underneath it. I really honestly just love doing brown smoky eyes at any occasion, but especially during the fall just because you can get away with using like smokier colors on a daily basis. Um, and they look really good with like a pale lip and then you don't have to do um, like fake lashes just because of how smoky it is. It already looks really dramatic on the eyes. So I just use a lot of mascara when I do these types of looks and I love the way it turns out. I'm gonna switch brushes to a Sigma E38 now and I'm using the shade, ooh, 
I'm using the shade Chocolate is Life, which is right underneath. So I'm literally just going it down right here. And that shade is so accurate because chocolate is definitely life, especially right now because I'm on that lovely week of the month. <laughs> So I'm basically just taking that shade and I'm going to just pack it onto my lid. I'm gonna go back into the shade at Toast of the Town and I'm just gonna build that up so that way the two shades blend in together a little bit more. As you guys can see that really nice like kind of soft transition. I'm going to take a little bit of a smaller brush to do my lower lashes. This is a Luxie 121 mini tapered brush. So I'm going to take these same two shades right here and just start to do the same thing. I'm going to use this really small kind of tapered, I guess you could call this a liner brush. I'm not really sure, but it goes like right underneath right here. So I'm going to take this brush. It's from Almar Cosmetics in the set that came with three. And I like to take it right here on my lash line and right underneath the outer corner right here. I'm going to use the Bold Obsessions palette for this next shade, which is this one right here. And this is called Brunettes Have More Fun. Now the only shimmer I'm going to use is this one which is called Sands of Time and I'm going to actually just use that for my inner corner highlight. You guys know I love inner corner highlights. I don't know why but I feel like I can't do any eye look without an inner corner highlight. I just feel like it's not complete. Cool. Now that we have that we can move on to mascara and then we'll be on to lips and then done. So we're going to use the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. This is just the regular black one. So I'm going to coat my lashes just with this. Obviously, since this is a fall makeup tutorial, you could definitely do a dark lip or like a mauve lip or whatever you guys want to do. But usually when I do dark eyes, I like to do light lips or I like to do really light eyes with a dark lip just to make each one pop and not kind of be so glam. So this is more of like a daily fall look, if that's what you want to call it. And I'm going to use the LA Girl Ultimate Intense Stay Lip Liner, Nonstop Nude. I say this in every single tutorial. <laughs> and then I'm going to use my NYX lingerie lipstick. This is in the shade Satin Ribbon. It is a pale, pale, pale nude color. And then to top it off, I'll use the ColourPop, ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Fairy Floss. So. So this is the look all finished up. I just really love the way a bold smoky eye looks like with a really pale lip. I feel like it really makes the eyes pop and the whole look just really comes together really nicely. And like I said, I think you could pair this really nicely with like a deep red color or like a really nice mauve. Either way, I feel like this eye look is really, really easy to match with anything, but I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Let me know what else you guys want to see this fall and winter season. So leave your requests in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for being here and tuning into my channel, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!